Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Trish. If you guys are new, thanks for stopping by and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support your girl. And if not, welcome back to my channel. Also hit that bell so you guys can know when I upload my videos. So we're just gonna get into this. Um, I wanted to film a video showing you guys the products that I cannot live without, my favorite makeup products, products that I like to use on an everyday basis, whether if I'm just doing something simple and quick or so if I'm doing something that's, you know, just that's really up there and just really glam. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this video. All the products that I mentioned in this video will be listed down in the description box and also my social media so you guys we can be friends. So make sure y'all, you know, y'all check me out on my uh, social media. So yeah. We're just gonna get into this video and I will see you guys in my next one. So like I said, we're gonna start with the eyes. Um, for my brows, I love my Anastasia Dick Brow. I use the shade Gre Granite or Granite, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the shade I use, it's the darkest one. I've been using the same jar for the past year and a half. I'm, I'm just trying to get all the edges, everything out, just I'm getting all of these words because the sister is a college student and I'm broke. So I can't be, you know, can't be splurging on stuff like that and waste the money. So yeah, there's still stuff in here that I'm still using. I'm going to make sure I use all of it before I get another one. Yep. So I usually use this to like, you know, fill in my brows and get my brows on the way I want it to get them on. I just get like, when it comes to a pencil, I just get like any use for store pencil and I just use that to shape up my brows and then I'll just go right into it with my dip brow. And now when it comes to like the brow pencils, usually I'll use like the, the NYX one. Right now I ran out, so I just use a top brow one that I have from, I think it's Kiss Products, but it's pretty good. And you know, for like to, like to clean up my brows and stuff, I love to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. And I also use my foundation my foundation on top of my brow so I use this one on the bottom and I use my foundation on the top because I do not like that hair look so yeah that's what I do so I can get the brow that I want because I like I like a natural looking brow so yeah yeah <laughs> and so also 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 I use the same concealer for my eyelids for my base and I just set it with the powder any powder that I have that I'm using at the time I'm not specific with it I just make sure that I'm setting my, I'm, I'm using this to prime my lids. Now for my palettes, my palettes, it was so hard, you guys. It was so hard to like narrow down the palettes that I, like, you know, that I like to use, but I do have certain palettes that I gravitate towards when I'm just doing like a everyday look or just a natural glam look. The first palette I'm gonna start off with is my Julius Place palette, the new, the first Nubian, the, new, the, the Nubian first. Lord, you guys, y'all please bear with me. But yes, the Nubian, the first Nubian palette, this is what this one looks like. All these pretty shades. It's really neutral. You have everyday colors in it. So I like to use this palette a lot. Um, my Jaclyn Hill palette that I like to use a lot. Y'all see this in my videos a lot, but I just love this palette because it has a wide, like a wide, a range of um, different like neutral shades in it. You have your browns, you have your oranges, you have nice shimmery shades, brow bone highlights, matte shades, and then you have like a pop of color right there if you want to like throw in a pop of color. And then I do have two other Morphe palettes that I like to use on an everyday basis. I have my 35F palette. It's more of a shimmer, like a shimmery, shimmery palette. Um, I do love shimmer shades. I do like mattes too, but I'm more of a shimmer girl. So I really like go towards this palette when I want to use a shimmer eyeshadow palette. Uh, shimmer eyeshadow, I'm sorry. And then like the next palette I really like to use from Morphe is the 35W palette. It's just your everyday neutral palette. You have different mattes. There's satins in here, there's shimmers in here, and yeah, it's just a really, like a real, like, everyday neutral palette. So if you're like a girl that don't like, you know, colors and stuff like that, these palettes are really good palettes to like, you know, use and to keep. The next thing I'm going to move into is my eyeliner. Now, I used to love the NYC liner, but of course, they just had to discontinue their liner. That was my, hands down, my favorite liner. But they, you know, they stopped selling it. They do have it on Amazon, but I don't be trying to do all that. But for, you know, the liner that I've been really liking is the one I just fell in love with is the NYX matte liner. I have like four of these. I really like this liner because it's, it's really black. It's really matte. I like the wine. It's like a... 
It's just a regular one. It's really flexible. You can get your liner the way you want it. And so yeah, I really, really, really like this liner. And for my mascara, the, I'm not really picky about mascaras because I usually just buy any mascara that I like. I like, and it just kind of for me it just depends on the brush because I like the little small, the small spiky brushes because it just really like get into your lashes and your yeah, it get into your lashes and like you know they just evenly like make your lashes look good. But my favorite mascara that I have to have is my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because I just love this mascara. I use this on my bottom lashes a lot, but even if I'm not wearing like lashes, because I tend to wear lashes a lot. When I'm not wearing false lashes, I will go in. If I don't touch any other mascara, I'm going to use this one. I just really like this one. The brush on this one is really, like, small, and it gets in there. And it just, I don't know, it just do something to me. It just really do something to me. Um, and then for, like, my bottom, my bottom waterline, I like to use the e.l.f. Gel liner in the color Midnight Black. And I just use this on my waterline. It's just really, it's a really nice eyeliner it's really black and it stays all day it's not shiny or anything it's just really matte and that's why i like using this in my waterline this is the only purpose that i have for this waterline this um gel liner so yeah and then for my lashes i'm picky when it comes to my lashes but i like to get my lashes off amazon because these make lashes they companies they're really expensive they're cute and all but they're really expensive and like i said your girl is a broke college student and i like to be balling on the budget and look good on the budget so the two lashes the two lashes that i like to use are these from amazon i'll make sure to link these in the description box they're just very like mink like and pretty like you can get that 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 mink look without you know spending so much money so these are like the two like types of lashes that i really like to wear so that's it for my eyes i'm gonna move on to the face for the face i have we're gonna talk about the primers first and then i'm gonna get into my setting sprays and everything else this the becca ever matte poreless primer i love this primer because it just gets my face really matte i'm an oily girl and you know i just i have to have this primer it like I even use this on my brows. It keeps my brows like my brows laying down in place, and it just gives me that smooth base for me to put my brows down, like to draw my brows because I don't like my skin to be like oily or just in my my um my my pencil moving around with just all over the place. So yeah, I like to use this for that, and I also just use this. I like to use this on my face too when I really want that longevity and that matte look for my makeup to last all day now when it comes to cheaper alternatives these are the two primers that i can't live without my rimmel matte primer and my wet and wild photo focus primer and y'all see y'all see these primers a lot in my videos i just really like these um these primers this one right here it gives me like a dewy soft look and it kind of like you know it makes everything smooth so i just really like this one too and then like the, the room one when i want to be matte like and when i want to be like have like a matte look and i but i don't want to reach towards my back one i use this one i've been using this one for a long time it's just a really good affordable primer now for my foundation i really like the maybelline fit me matte foundation and i use this one a lot this is the foundation that i reach for it to all the reach toward all the time i'm not when it comes to foundation i don't like to like splurge so much well i don't say splurge so much but i don't like to have it i don't like having so many foundations because you know makeup can get pricey so i just i really like this one and this is i started using this foundation i just i've been using it forever and the shade that i use is deep bronze it's very matte because i'm an oily girl and that's what i need and yeah this is the part the foundation that i like to use for my setting sprays, I really love my Mario Badescu setting spray and my NYX Dewy setting spray. Now, because like I said, I'm an oily girl, but I don't like to be like extremely matte. I like to see a nice glow and a little bit of dewiness to me. So that's why I like to use this one, which is the NYX Dewy setting spray. It's nice and cheap and it gets the job done. You can't fix what's not broke and you cannot go wrong if it's cheap. So yes, I do like this one. This one is pretty cheap too, but you can only get this one from Ulta. You can get it from the website. You can get it from the stores. So yeah, those are my two setting sprays that I like to use. And for like my concealer and everything, my under my eye, my highlight, I really like the LA Girl Pro Concealer one. This is the shade Fawn. I like to use Fawn to highlight it because it gives me that nice, it gives me that nice highlighted natural look. I don't like to be look overly like 
light underneath my, on my face and you know, just looking crazy. I like something that's a little bit more natural but it still gives me a little mm, if you know what I'm talking about. So yes, I really like this one. And I really been loving my Kat Von D, my Kat Von D um, Locket Concealer. I love this freaking concealer. I can splurge on this because this thing right here, this is the truth. I like this. Um, the shade, and the shade this is, is D35 Neutral. Now to set my, my highlight, I love my Sasha Buttercup powder. This powder here, like, I've been using this powder for the past two years, and this stuff right here, I can, yes, this, I've been really, like, loving this. And ever since I bought this, this is the one I've been using. I haven't ran out yet. That's how much product it has in here. And yes, it don't give you that ghostly effect. It looks bomb on dark skin girls. So yeah, y'all looking for the same powder, make sure y'all get this uh, Sasha Buttercup powder, because this, that, that one right there is real good. And for my face powder, I like to use my Maybelline Loose Finishing um, Powder. And the shade that I have is dark and the color 40. It's just a real nice, um, it's a real nice setting powder. I'm not picky, but I was I ran out of the one that I was using, which was the Ben I one. I was looking for something and I got that one. I think it's like five, six dollars. It's not expensive at all. And yeah, that powder, it, it gets the job done. You know, it keeps me like matte throughout the day. So yeah. For my contour, I like to use my sleek contour kit in the color dark. I do have two of these and both of them I done hit pan on but I'm going to use every last bit of it until it's gone because like I said we can't be wasting money. So yes this is the only contour powder that I really use on my face. The other one that I use is on my nose but the ones for my nose I like for it. It doesn't have to be nothing you know fancy or anything. It's just I like like a softer contour on my nose. Now for blush I do have three different blushes that I like to use. Um, I love my e.l.f. My e.l.f. Quad. It has four different colors. The one I usually use is this one. And sometimes I'll use this one. These are like my two everyday blush shades that I like to use out of this palette. So yeah, I really do like this um, blush quad from e.l.f. They did a really good job with this. And then I do like the sleek blush right here. It's in the shade Coral. It's just like a nice warm orange red shade. I do like I like orange red base shades um, on my cheeks. I do have a few like pink plum ones that I like to use, but I'm more so like those warm red and oranges tone, orangey tones on my face. And then like the last one I love to use is my Holy Grail blush, which is my Mac Raisin. If you a dark girl or a woman of color, at that I'm gonna say that a woman of color, and you don't have raisin, go get it because it's a real good it's a real good blush and it looks it really flatters our skin. And we're gonna get into these highlighters. It was really hard for me to like, you know, pick a highlighter that I, you know, that I gravitate towards a lot because I use all my highlighters. I'm a highlighter junkie and I just, you know, I'm a girl that loves a nice glow, but I did pick a few that I really like. The first two I'm gonna start off with is my Anastasia Glow Kits. I freaking love these glow kits and I cannot live without them. I have the Dac Glow one and I have the Sun Dip one. Those are the only two that I have and these are the only two that I care to have. Well, I'm not gonna say that because it's, a, it's another one that I really like, but these two right here, I really like these two palettes. I really like these two palettes. Dac Glow, this is what this palette looks like. I usually use these three right here. Really use these three right here. This is Golden Bronze. Bubbly and dripping in gold. And this one is sunburst, but I really, like I said, I really use these three right here. It's a really nice shade. And then sun dipped. Sun dip look like this. And this is a, it's a, just another one that I really like. I really love tourmaline and bronze. Really like these two. If I want to add something to it, I just top it off with these two because I'm a little extra when it comes to my highlight. And I really, y'all. This artist artist contour highlighter right here, I really love this one. It's called Sugar Daddy. It's their perfect rose gold highlighter. Like it's just really nice. And these artist artist contour highlights, they really did their thing with these highlights. But that's one of those like those three highlights I really cannot live without. And when I really want to be extra but don't want to add too much on top of it, I go in with my ColourPop Butterfly Beach Super Shock highlighter. And I just you know I just really like this highlighter. This highlighter. Yes, it's just, it's a really good highlighter. Now that I'm done with my face stuff. Oh, oh, one more thing, y'all. One more thing, I forgot. 
my contour my contour for me my like my liquid contour because i do like to do the liquid and set it with the powder for my liquid contour it's another ella girl pro concealer and i used to shade mahogany it's just really dark because i am a chocolate girl um it's mahogany and i just you know i like to use this one to contour my face with that's that we're going to move on to the lip products um for my lip liners, I like to use my NYX. I love my NYX lip liners. I cannot live without my NYX liners. There's a few shades that I do like to use. I have Downtown Beauty. I have Club Hopper. And these are the suede matte liners. And then I have, like, from the original line, I have Dark Brown and Y2K. I cannot live without these four shades. They're all, like, dark browns, but they're, like, different types of dark brown. So yeah, I do like using these for um, lip liners. Now, when it comes to lip glosses, because I do have my days where I like to wear a nice gloss or if I want to do a lipstick or if I want to do a lip stain, I'm all over the place with my lips, my lip products, but there's a couple that I really like. I really enjoy my Isme glosses that y'all see me use in my videos a lot. These Isme glosses come from the beauty spot store. You can find these in, you know, select few beauty spot stores, but they do have these um, glosses there. They're really good. They're really cheap. They're nice. They're really creamy. They're not that sticky, that sticky finish that some glosses have. And they're really pigmented. They're really pigmented as well. Um, I love the ColourPop lip gloss in the shade. We Hell is a nice natural touch as well. And it's like I said, it's also very creamy. It's very pigmented. You can get away with them. Get away with them if you want like a nice gloss, but also have like color to your lip. And then the last two I'm gonna talk about my next butter glosses. I really like these two. I have Fortune Cookies and Madeline. Really nice, really, you know, really creamy, very buttery. And they just, I don't know, I really like to make the way they make my lips feel. My lips usually feel like really soft when I wear these ones right here. And I do have my everyday lip stains that I like to use or you know if I want like a, a neutral lip this one here is Chi from Colourpop another one that I have from Colourpop is Midi really like these two and then this one is from Ruby Kisses and it's the shade Dune and for my lipstick I have these two MAC lipsticks that I like to use Velvet Teddy the infamous Velvet Teddy Velvet Teddy and Faux Really nice, um, really nice everyday shades if you want something natural and you don't like all the extra, like all the bold colors, like the bold black or the bold purple. I don't know why I said black, but purple and the, the bold red shades that like people like to use. I, you know, I'm, I like different like lip looks or whatever. So yeah. And then like the last lip product I'm gonna talk about is Tootsie by ColourPop. It's a ColourPop lip sticks, and it just looks like this. It's just like a, it's like a gray toned. It's like it's a gray tone lip um, lip color, and I really like those two on days that I want that kind of look. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Like I said, all the products that I mentioned will be in the description box. Do not forget to check that out. And I hope you guys liked the video. I know it's a little bit all over the place. I didn't want the video to be too long, so that's why I was speaking a little fast. But hopefully, I caught everything that I said. And yeah, a lot of these products are very affordable. I hope I help somebody out. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.